When your business process is interrupted for any reason, you need to plan for the continuity of your business processes. In other words, get them back online and make sure that your business is not interrupted when the processes are. That's what a business continuity plan, often referred to as BCP, does for us. Let's take a look at the project scope and planning for this large plan. It's an important plan. It ensures a business can continue in the event of an interruption. Now, the scope of a BCP is determined through four distinct phases. We have to start with a business organization analysis. A BCP ensures that the business can continue. Therefore, we have to know what makes up our business. What are the really important processes that we must ensure and protect so that our business can move forward? Once we analyze the organization of our business and we have a good feel of which processes are most important, then we can create our planning team. The planning team makeup is very important. We'll talk about that in the next couple of moments. Once the team is put together, then you can assess the resources that are required and make sure that you meet any legal and regulatory resource requirements. So these four steps are required to move forward and develop a good business continuity plan.